this good morning y'all October 7th 8th somewhere out of there um this thoughts on the world is really starting out to be I had a lot I had a lot of conversation with myself I had a lot of thoughts this morning but I wasn't walking since I wasn't walking, I can't put thoughts in the walk. I'm not walking. I'm out today with my wife. She's at the doctor getting some blood work done. And I'm walking around uh, the facility. Basically, I'm in Greenacres Mall. I'm not going to try to make it over to the mall, but she's only getting blood work done. She's probably being in and out there, one, two, three. Um, there's nothing really going on. The world is the world. I posted. Y'all you gotta stop following me, people. Go to my YouTube page, Perk Disciple. Um, go to my Facebook page, Calvin Wallace. I know you know that. Look it up. I post something this morning. I said. They were talking about the, uh, they were talking about the, uh, what do you call it, the flu, cold and flu season. Now, listen, I ain't the, I ain't the smartest guy in the round, but, you know, I saw and read stuff that last year, cold and flu was like non-existent. You know why? And they wearing their masks. So we gotta do the right, do the same thing. Quick, a quick note. I, I I googled it and I said, wait a minute, you know, the Chinese and the Japanese been wearing masks for years, years. They've been wearing masks more than us before they even break out. Maybe they knew what maybe they knew what was coming. I don't know. Not that. But I can't see my camera is dark here. But uh they was wearing masks for years. I know what the infection rate is. It's a lot of, I gotta find out. You find out for me. Find what the infection rate in Japan is. Find what the infection rate is in China. Damn, they're not existing. Damn, they're not existing. Because you know why? They wear their mask. I don't know. America is very. America is very. Very. Uh, what do you, how do you say? Hard to understand. Morning. You know, America is hard, very hard to understand about this situation. You know, you can get the vaccine. Ah, it's an old story. It's an old, it's an old thought. You can get the vaccine, but as long as I don't tell you to get it, you're happy. Yeah. Y'all can't see me. As long as I don't tell you to get it, you're happy. I don't understand. This virus is a virus. This virus is taking people out. They don't care white, black, indifferent, whatever. You know, it's not a choice. It's not a choice anymore. It's a mandate. We want you to stay alive. <laughs> Oh, I'm into that wall. Uh, I don't want to touch on. I shouldn't touch. Y'all can't see me. I'm too dark here. I want to say sorry to the family in Texas. Is that was in Texas. I ain't gonna to touch on that because I'm sad with that. That you know, this school shooting, this handguns, and being readily available is like. It's almost, it's like, 
you know, I don't have a handgun. I had never shot a gun. I ain't walking. But I held a gun. My father had a gun. But he got rid of me. Shooting a gun. Where did where did these people get this? I'm gonna shoot somebody with a nine millimeter. I'm gonna shoot somebody with a 45. You're gonna tear somebody's inside out. You're gonna kill somebody. They're not gonna survive. You know how? You, I don't think there's any gunshot wound you can survive. If they hit you in the, if they hit you in the center mass, if they hit you in the center mass, you're dead. Ain't nothing gonna happen. 